Hi, welcome to eighth grade math. I'm Mrs. Courtney. It's so nice to meet you. Um, here we are sitting in our virtual world, but hopefully soon we'll be able to meet face to face as we have been um, with your students. So um, slowly but surely. Um, a little bit about me. I've been teaching math within the district for the past, well, this is my fifth year with D105. Uh, I've been teaching math over 20 years, and you can just kind of go through and see whether it's been college level um, in the city or the suburbs. Um, math has always been something that I've just truly enjoyed doing as my career. Um, I live in Downers Grove with my husband and my three children, um, and we have our fun COVID puppy that the kids talked us into. Um, but that's just a little bit about me, and let's get into this math. So being that your eighth graders have probably been with the district for a while, um, there's our quick D105 website that's gonna have all the information that you need to look at, but um, I'm guessing you already know that. So we'll get right into our classroom. Here's a picture of our math room. Um, as you can see, things are very spaced out. Um, there's a picture of the kids' desk shield that they walk around with. Um, they are doing amazing. And so we come in, we put up the desk shield, and we get to work. I have my smart board here. Well, here's my mission control. Uh, my smart board is shared with students who are home, and then, of course, with the students that are in front of me. I annotate all my notes through an iPad, and so even if your child isn't with me in class, they are definitely with us throughout the lesson. Uh, they're zooming in. They're watching the lesson, they're hearing the lesson, and they're able to communicate back and forth. So um, it's been a pretty good setup so far, so good. Everything that you need to find is in the Google Classroom. Under Classworks, you're gonna find the weekly overview. That weekly overview has everything your child needs to be successful. It also, ho it also homes all of the past weeks, and so if they're missing assignments, you can go here and you can find those assignments. Um, on Wednesdays during our asynchronous day, your child is responsible for doing work. Mainly that's our Alex day, as well as could be different review and different practice day for um, assignments that are in class. I do have academic support during that time if students need to come in and meet with me. Just a quick reminder about grades, always go into PowerSchool. That's where you're gonna find your up-to-date grade. Definitely would recommend that application on your phone or your student's phone. Our textbook, again, this year is our math, um, the Glencoe math, and the students are working out of this as well as getting other resources from me. Um, while in class, I really do focus on that critical thinking and problem solving as well as mental math and making sure that the kids are just able to think about math and have that number sense that we do need to just be part of our everyday, everyday life. Here are our fun units for the year. We are just finishing up unit one, about to get into linear equations for unit two. Um, and, and for you, if you're saying, how can I help my student win at home? Number one, have them look at the textbook, have them watch some different ed puzzles for reteach them, for reteaching. Ask them if they're taking the notes during class, have them look at um, homework problems with you. Uh, but really just have them look at the textbook, have them practice and work and try and know that it's okay if they aren't getting it right. Have them ask questions in class. Um, make sure that they're not spending more than like 30 minutes to 45 minutes on homework though. Once you've hit that point, um, it becomes just point of no return. So put a time limit on it and then we can do what we need to in class. Um, our grades are broken down like this, 60% tests, 25% for the quizzes. There are retakes available and the kids can look in the Google Classroom to find out how that works. We will be having MAP later on in the school year to be announced later. Um, so overall, that's that. Thank you so much. If you have questions or concerns, send me an email. I'm more than happy to call and chat and um, help you through any other questions you might have. Thank you.